<laughs> I know. So guys, I want to ask about something. And I think this is, we've talked about this maybe a little bit in the community. I've seen different posts. I've seen a lot of, a lot of very satisfied and excited customers. Now they've been receiving these and then some that have had a couple issues here and there. So I want to talk about this real quick so we can have at least a discussion. So people are kind of aware as, as to what's going on. So the Inart Joker magnetic base, how much does this actually matter? I know I talked about this on Lael's show and uh i know i talked i mentioned it in my review and it's been mentioned by dante i know man hot collectibles and it's been mentioned by other collectors this is just one example this was a photo posted in one of the groups that wasn't actually the person who posted its photo it was someone else's who knows maybe this actually fell over maybe someone knocked it over on purpose or just tapped it over and then took a picture i don't know but we have had some reported issues from these i've seen a lot of like i said super super happy customers satisfied but some kind of wary and concerned about the magnets so that said riley i want to ask you this question i'm pretty sure you got this joker right yes I have that yeah, you got the two pack the rooted yeah okay so does this concern mm. you at all with the magnetic base and even the magnetic mm. hands because i know you know some collectors have been concerned about this how do you feel generally about it I think it's interesting. So I'm I'm kind of on the fence about it because I've seen a lot of different experiences personally because I feel like a lot of people who had the figure who who aren't even content creators who have it say it. I've even seen on their Instagrams or like their their uh, Facebooks where they're like I've had no issues with it. It's a super strong magnet. It hasn't fallen. But then we have other collectors who are posting this to where it's falling and etc. So it's kind of a weird one. Like I'm convinced either it might be like the person who has it or it might be specific like figures have this issue like maybe the magnets are weaker in, in certain figures while who, people who got other figures they're not as weak and it's kind of a weird one to me but i think that the best thing that we've talked about for a while is obviously and going to learn from this i'm sure that they've seen it all over facebook because it's been like the the, the biggest thing in these past couple of weeks because obviously this figure was riding a lot of hype and I, I i'm sure that they're listening to this i hope that they do like people have talked about Having the, I think the the biggest like thing to help this would have the whole base being magnetic rather than specific portions of mm -hmm. it being magnetic. That way, it'd be a lot stronger, and you can also pose it in any way you'd want. I'm more com, I mean, for this this Joker figure, I mean the figure itself, like people have talked about, they've had no issues. Obviously, the sculpt, the rooted hair, who's people who's had it, they had no problems. The tailoring's amazing, so I'm not too fussed about the Joker one because I'm not really planning on doing any crazy poses or any outlandish poses, but. Like people talked about, maybe maybe even with museum, museum poses, they'd fall like you'd said, Will. So I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of just on the fence about it. But one thing I'd say is for the Batman one coming up in a couple months, that's going to be one where I feel like I'm going to pose a lot more and do a lot more dynamic poses. So I'd be a little bit more worried in that sense of it falling. And like people have talked about, they have just thought of doing just getting a, a separate base. I know, Will, you got a separate base with the crotch grabber because you're all about the crotch grabbers. You don't want them falling. So you got to make sure to have that. But for me... um. I'm, I'm more so waiting for mine specifically to kind of have judgment on it because like I said, I've seen like two posts. I've seen a lot more other people saying, yeah, the magnets are a little weak. But then I've seen other people say that it had zero issues with it. It hasn't fallen in five months, no issues at all. So it's kind of a weird one. It looks really cool with this DX19. I really like that. But um, yeah, yeah I'm more so waiting on it. I I mean, there's no excuse for it. In our, they did obviously make a mistake on certain figures or I don't know how the whole story yet. But it's something that they're going to learn from and hopefully, I mean, have better magnets. Because like we've talked about, this is their first figure. A lot of people were expecting it to be like a 10 out of 10, given it was their first figure. A lot of us even said that as well. And seeing this flaw, to me, it isn't a deal breaker. But I can totally understand why others would think that's a big deal. Because obviously, a big portion of the price is you're paying for the diorama base and, and the bases here. But um, for me, I'm, I'm more so judging the figure itself. I'm still going to use the magnetic base, bases, even if they are a little weak. I feel like... Maybe I'd risk it a little more on like you will. You want to be safer, of course, but I feel like yeah. I really want at least the jail one. I think this one, the one with just the base is a little bit more plain. So I wouldn't mind keeping that in the box, but I think the jail cell one's the one I really want to have just in the display because I don't really want to box that up per se, because that's probably a big portion of the price is coming from that diorama base. So that's, that's right. the reason why I'd use it. But um, this one more so I'd, I'd be fine probably putting it away. But again, I hope Inart's learning from this because obviously a lot of people are taking that snowball effect because uh, there's a lot of people out there who, who had their doubts with Inart and seeing this right here obviously is going to help their case and it's going to help them. But it is what it is for me. I'm going to wait till I get mine in hand. Uh, hopefully it comes out soon and I'm going to do obviously a review on it. And if I have those issues, they'll be they'll be presented. But yeah, I'm still excited for this figure nonetheless. I mean, Heath Ledger Joker, I'm, I, I can't wait for it personally.
Yeah, absolutely, bro. And I didn't even realize we had uh, King Maju Space in the house, Mr. Brian hey. Wong. Good what to up, see bro? you, Brian. I totally missed the comment. Then I was scrolling through and I saw Mario chatting with someone. I was like, who's that? I was like, oh, that's Brian. There it is. So yeah. good to see you, Brian. Thanks for joining, bro. So guys, I want to jump around slightly here. So Carlos, I want to ask you this question. So with this Joker and the magnetic base issue going on and with the hands and stuff like that, does that concern you at all? I mean, I, I know, I, like I said, I, you and I have talked about it. I've talked about it in my review pretty extensively. With the hands, you really got to push them in. You don't just pop the magnet yeah. on and leave it. You got to pop the magnet and push and like peg it in. So you got to do that too. And I think the instructions do say that. So if people are out there listening to that, that's something you want to keep in mind. And with the base, use your best judgment. For me, I would just probably use a crotch grabber. But Carlos, how do you feel about all this? Is this, does this concern you at all? Um, I'll say that, uh, it's, it's a little concerning. Okay. Because now I appreciate the head sculpt looks good. I think tailoring, everything looks good, but specifically the base. See, the problem is that we are paying under a little under a thousand and some over a thousand for two figures, rooted version, a diorama and a magnetic base. The problem is that, uh, we are paying such a high amount and I would expect something like a base to to not be a problem you know what i mean these i feel like these are things that we're going to um you know they're a new company so i understand they're going to improve so hopefully you know over time they're going to get better but but that's uh i would say it's kind of a big deal right because i mean i would want to i wouldn't want to spend a thousand dollars on a collectible and then come with the faulty base you know what i mean it just feels like right it just doesn't, it kind of takes away from the premium feel now that you have to go and buy yourself a set, you know, a, a crotch grabber or use one from Hot Toys or even have to get something else. Because one of the things that we all said was, hey, it, you know, it doesn't have a crotch grabber anymore. Nobody likes crotch grabbers. It's magnetic. And, you know, now it's going to, uh, you know, the magnetic base isn't working, which from even yours, Will, or from everyone that I've seen, it's really strong, you know, when you have the figure and you move it up and down or upside down. But side to side, forward and back, it's definitely very weak. And even from some of these videos that I've seen, um, you know, I just don't think it's a very good base. I think hopefully they fix that. Um, I don't know if they try to make it right by by their customers. You know, it's like um, trying to compare that to like if I was to buy, you know, um, I don't know, the DeLorean and like, I don't know, the wheels come deflated or some shit. I don't know. I'm trying to, trying to figure <laughs> out how I can make a, a, a comparison yeah. where it's like, well, it's like, I'm, I'm not going to want it. So I'm going to do a refund or, you know, or I need a replacement. You know, I, I would expect something like that from Inart. I don't know if they are though, but if it's a faulty base, then I should think they should give out replacement bases. I think, you know, maybe, maybe I don't know. Um, yeah. So anyways, well, cause I, I am with you, Carlos, when you're paying this price for it and the base is so cool. That was part of my dilemma because I'm like, man, I, and I know what you're saying, Riley, but some of the other characters too, like Aragorn and Pennywise have really cool bases. Right. And now I'm looking at that yeah. and I'm like, but I want to use that base. And now I almost feel like I can't because it's like, I, right. yeah, it's, well, maybe, maybe there's a good a example. I don't know what you guys think. The Mark II DeLorean comes with that acrylic base that you can put the car sideways. You know, it's like if yeah. we start noticing that cars start falling over because the acrylic won't hold it like wouldn't we expect the replacement wouldn't we expect a new base you know because it's a pretty expensive thing so right. i would yeah, expect true. them to fix this you know some way like hey give us a new where the magnetic and we have a crotch grabber option where you can cover it or you can put a crotch grabber or fix your bases i think they should come out and fix this problem i think um, so too so. but i think it's also one of those where it's like um I think it's also one of those where at the end of the day, they probably need to add a little crotch grabber slot too. I think. Yeah. yeah. I feel like, yeah, so like yeah, hey, it's, it's kind of hard though, because I don't, I don't like the crotch grabber, but I get what you're saying. Yeah. Maybe having like a slot for it. Yeah. Maybe you I'd, could cover it. You know what yeah. I mean? Like something right. you could pop yeah. in and cover it. I'd rather have them take the risk at doing magnets rather than not doing it at all and just having the crotch grabber. But yeah, I feel fair. like hopefully at least they like make a post like saying like, Oh, we've, we like Carlos said, like if they don't do replacements, I think the best thing that they would do is make like a statement, like saying, okay, we've seen that these issues have been happening. We're going to make sure in our future figures or anything, or maybe even the previous ones that we've had, like hopefully maybe Gandalf, it doesn't have the same issue. I think Gandalf or Pennywise is the next up. I'd hope that they kind of listen to this and like, oh shit, like we need to do something different to fix the bases. Right. Cause if you're, if your previous pre-orders have that same, same issue, then that's not going to really look good. If you have like two or three right. or four figures having this issue. But yeah. Yeah. Because you know, one of the, one of the selling points again is that this is supposed to be, easier right a new way of collecting right. you know magnetic right. uh you know head sculpt the, the head sculpt the peg uh the uh 
the you know the 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 wrist the everything is supposed to be easier and i don't know if, if you're going to do magnetic and that's fine then i think they need to provide replacements or come out and say something or i know for a fact if again the mark ii if the acrylic base wasn't holding i wouldn't want to keep that you know what i mean but unless that was right. the only option and nr hasn't came out and said anything so and like I said, these right. are pretty few and far between. Like you're seeing a lot of posts like these where people are like, yeah, them, I really love this. So, you know, maybe people That's like what me. I'm confused about. It. There's like some people saying they've had like no issues at all. And, that, and like right. I said, they're not even content creators. They're just collectors who have the yeah. figure. They're like, I've had this yeah. for a long yeah. time. I've put it in the position it hasn't fallen. So I don't know. It's weird. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. That's what well, I'm saying. Maybe if you have a problem, people can submit a, you know, a replacement. I don't know. Yeah. Right. Well, right. Leo, what do you think about this? Because I know you have the uh, rooted two pack coming in the near future. Do you think you'll end up using the magnetic base? Well, I, I really didn't have plans on using it anyway. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, I think um, also, I mean, it's, there's so many different ways to look at it. I mean, it could be, a, you know, an issue with the, the base. But also, I think, you know, someone did mention it and I believe that. Like, I mean, it's, you know, it could be weak ankles. I mean, it could also be the way you pose the figure. I know that if you actually pose a figure, like say, for instance, if you don't use a cross grabber, you pose a figure a certain way. If you have the knees bent, if you don't have the knees slightly bent, um, then the issue that you basically run into is that it's weighted. It can tilt. You have to have the knees slightly bent to actually get posture, the proper posture, instead of having it straight up, especially if you're posing a figure. A lot of people, and if you're looking at this particular figure, one foot is slightly out front, knees bent, the other foot's slightly in the back. So, of course, it's going to hold its posture a bit more, even with the magnetic base. So I think that it is a thing where you actually have to have the knees bent a slight way, because if you have it straight up, if I don't have my knees bent, that's just like anybody. Um, if, if you have it straight up, if you're holding, you know, just, just you yourself, like straight up, if you stand up one time, grab two weights, hold them on each side. The equilibrium, you, you know, it's going to be slightly off because that weight is going to carry. You have to actually have it a certain way. You have to stand a certain way and position you a certain way. Your posture has to be good so it's not adding too much weight. Right. So it's mm -hmm. the same thing for an actual figure. You know what I mean? If you have that, it, I, I have figures that I have cross grabbers. If I don't bend those knees and if you hit the detolf, it'll tip over. But if the knees are bent slightly and the cross grabber supports it, which I hate using, but if it does support, Right. Then I don't have any problems. So I think it's yeah. also how you actually have the figure pose as well. Um, I wasn't planning on actually using a stand anyway, so I, I really don't care. But I, I really think that, you know, when it comes to, you know, yeah, you can pay, you pay a thousand dollars for it. I definitely get that. Um, and it would be an issue. And I see where people might have certain complaints when it comes, you know, to the base itself. But if there are a lot of people who actually have this figure and they're saying that they're not having those problems, then they, again, it could be an issue where you have it positioned a certain way where you're not right. Because you, look at it. You see the way he has it standing? His right. knees are slightly bent, one foot out in front of the other. So, of course, it's supported. You're not going to see that type of issue where it tilts over. So I think, it, like I said, it just depends on how the person has it posed. But it's not to dismiss people and be dismissive of individuals who actually have problems with that stand, that magnetic base. But I think they're going to work out the kinks, man. Fairly new company. And I think that they will work that out and they will probably adjust, dress it. Me, myself, I was actually going to use a form, I mean, a foam plating where the feet actually form to that foam. It's going to keep mm. it standing a certain way. But that's how I'm going to have it in a display. Um, so I already have pretty much an idea how I wanted to use it. So, again, I mean, I see where there's there's cause for concern. But at the, at the same time, just watch how you pose the figure. That's all I'm going to actually say, because then you don't want to cause any issues. Yeah, that makes sense, yeah. bro. I, I mean, I can say from having this figure in hand myself, you know, even if you have a, a more lifelike pose like this one, I can tell you if there's any sort of movement, that boy in that pose is going to go backwards. Like, right. I, but I that's, was, you know, yeah. and that's understandable. That's, but that's the same with any pose, it, like any figure sure. that you actually have where you don't even have a magnetic, magnetic base. If you stand it like that and you hit it, it's going to fall. <laughs> yeah, right. Sure. That's a good, it's a good point. Yeah. Right. See, I I mean, regardless See, of what yeah. that's actually yeah. going to be. So I think it's just one of those certain, those, those issues where, again, with any pose, like for instance, it could fall because the way he has this position, knee slightly bent, but the back is straight up. If you slouch it back a tad bit, right. then it's, it's, it, the weight right. is distributed evenly. So it's not going to tilt. So it's just, again, just the realism of how you actually pose it. Yeah. And just see how it actually works. But at the same time, you don't want to have it in a section or a space 
where, you know, you might have those issues where if you hit it, it'll knock it over. Have it somewhere where it's stable. You know what I mean? And and, and right. it won't really cause any problems. Because I'm, I'm saying, like, anything that I actually have, like, for instance, if you look at Luke, the only reason why I have Luke that way in one foot walking is because it doesn't come with a crotch grabber. It comes with a, a waist grabber, mm, uh, you know, yeah. for the snow speeder Luke. So it's holding itself in position. But I guarantee you, if I didn't have that and had a crotch grabber and I, and I hit that, it would knock it straight over. So yeah, right. Right. I just think, yeah. this, you know, it depends on how you do it. I, I think they. Yeah. I, I think you make some really, really solid points. Like, I think what they're going to have to do, though, is is because see, when we think magnetic, we just think you pop it on there and you're done. Right. So if there's a learning curve on how to properly use a magnetic base so it doesn't fall over, then you're right. Maybe that's something that Inner's going to have to come out and say, like, this is how you properly use this magnetic right. base. Because there, there's, gonna, there's yeah. a learning curve now because yeah. we just thought, oh, you pop it on and you're done. But if the band grits aren't that strong and you do need to bend, I didn't even know you had to bend those knees for something like this, honestly. So since right. there's a learning curve, I think they'll have to come out and say, like, here's how you properly use this. For future figures yeah. at least and and barrett barrett also made a good point he said if you can only pose it standing straight up and down then what's the point that's kind of the way i see it with the batman per se because for me yeah. i want to do like dynamic poses that's the only thing where i have concerns but then another thing that's a great point is that i'm in la and I, carlos and mario you as well if we have earthquakes if you have this on that base i mean will you you said it, it's gonna fall if, the, if there's anything shaking or anything so right if you're in a, an environment where you have earthquakes it could also be a concern as well yeah to me i'm right. just all about safety at the end of the day so it took right. only one tumble for mine and i was I'm taking like, a risk Come yeah uh, i just bought happens. a crotch grabber and it was like 10 bucks so something but but mario i want to jump to you on this one i know it's been a while since we've you know gotten to check in here so <laughs> i want to see what uh you feel about this magnetic base here with the joker how are you feeling about this? Because most people seem pretty happy, but there are a few issues. Are, are you concerned at all? No, not at all, man. Again, I don't think Leo hit on the head. He was he said exactly what I was thinking. I don't think it's an issue with the base. I just think it's an issue with weak with the ankles and how collectors are actually posing it. Mm. You know, it's, it's all about balance. You know, in the end, so you need to do what you uh, you need to have it posed up properly for this thing to support itself. Because the feet are just going to attract to the magnets. If you, I mean, well, have, have you done it? Like, just try to pop it on, and it just finds the center of uh, of where to. Um, put itself yep it does like in the center yeah, so, uh, in the center of the base yeah, yeah. right so then yeah. that just that tells me there then it's just it's a problem you know in the ankles or it could be a potential issue in the ankles so are yeah. the ankle pegs that are there are those also magnetic or are those actually pegged in see i think those are pegged in but i haven't those pulled are them pegged. out yeah i haven't yeah, I'm pulled pretty them sure out so i'm pretty sure yeah. they're, they're pegged magnets. in though i know dante's yeah. fell off but you know the right they're pegged. They're not magnet. Magnet. that's why i think it's an issue with you know with the ankles yeah. rather than the base because you can put a whole you can have the entire base full of uh, full of magnets you're still gonna have this problem the figure just right. could be top heavy you know not be able to support itself mm -hmm. so if anything probably mm -hmm. use, use a little bit more of a um of a stronger um ankle pegs possibly Mm -hmm. You know, yep. looking maybe maybe do like an all metal design that can support that kind of weight of the plastic that's top heavy of it. You know, that's yeah. where I think the actual well, problem we, lies. But but as far as like well, trying we, to pose it dynamically, I mean, who, who it's I mean, I there's a lot of collectors. I mean, you all said it too, man. You no one uses stands, so I'm like, why is this a problem now? I, I understand that's that, true. That's true. stand you know, life, baby. People right, do, exactly. but others there's don't. I don't. I see it in the chat. Charlie Unicorn yeah. mentioned like hashtag yeah, no let, stands. Let's run a poll. Let's run a poll. You know, so it's like, come on. Yeah, I'm, I'm the only one that uses stands. Well, it seems like I'm the only one who uses stands in here, but. Me and you, Mark. Yeah. So I, I just mean, feel like it does look a lot more realistic. And that's another reason why you buy NR so. is because you, it doesn't have the stand because it looks so much more realistic of him just standing well, there without, without the crotch But I think it just adds right. it adds more presence, you know, to the actual figure. I mean, telling us, you know, displaying a bit of more of a story with that stand itself mm -hmm. rather than just have because other than just having a doll on the shelf and just, oh, hey, look, there's a Joker there. <laughs> You know what I mean? Right, so right. I, just think, I like I just the base too, Mario. Especially now we're getting more side. diorama bases and such. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. You know what I would I mean, suggest, like literally, to anybody who has that problem. If you, if you want to have the stand, let me just give you one quick tip. If you just do want to actually have the stand, probably try something like this. Try something that you've never seen before. Try a pose that you've never seen this figure in before. Maybe take one foot, have it off the stand in the back. Have one stand, one foot on the actual stand, have him leaning over, crossing the gun and his arm on one knee. Try something like that. Mm. Yeah. yeah. It would Maybe. be stable. At the same time, you can still show presence with that stand. Even, you know, for some people that might actually want to have him sitting on it, if you can pull it off or even not even sitting on it. Have him actually like sitting down, legs crossed in the front on the stands. Play, you can be see the thing about the Joker, bro, is that you can be playful with this figure because he gives zero fucks. So <laughs> I mean, zero, you can yeah, you sure. can pull off so many different things with this figure. It doesn't have to just be a straight up and down 
standing pose. So if you see this and you're concerned, just find creative ways to utilize that stand and it'll work. It'd be effective. That's what I would actually say. Yeah, that's true. That's and Will, you have this figure. Have, have the ankles been, been weak on yours? Not There's really, but I, I kind of get what Mario's saying. Maybe that could be the issue because because I know, know like when, I yeah, because when Will FaceTime me and we were looking, we were just the figure <clears> was <throat> it looked like it was pretty loose, but it wasn't really like the uh, the ankles. I don't think the ankles well. felt like super super loose or anything, no different than a hot toy. I think it felt pretty stable, but I, I think it's you know, it's it can figures can be kind of top heavy and they, they want to move, move back. Has anyone had a four, uh, a Thor figure in their collection? I haven't tried any mm-hmm. Thor. Yeah. And tried you ever try to display that without a without a stand? I don't think so. No, I've always been it in the doesn't, stand life. Yeah. yeah it will bro. not hold itself up. Really? Same thing, it it heavy. Same thing yes. for uh Doctor Strange. You really Doctor Strange because it doesn't mm-hmm. actually because he, he doesn't have like a split cut boot technology cut, for the first yeah. one. So yeah. you mm-hmm. can't unless you have him pose a certain way, it will not stand the entire time. So wow. again, yeah. you yeah, it's certain figures that you cannot do this for and it will tip. You know, you have to kind of really be creative. And this could be one of them. Yeah, it could definitely. be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and maybe and if there's a learning curve, then NR definitely needs to come out and say this: how you properly pose this. I don't think it's NR, dude. I think it's just the collector, dude. Mm-hmm. You guys need to. You know, I think the collector needs to understand how these figures actually work and balance. Yeah. Yeah. You need to find right. a center. That's, I think that's what Carlos is saying. Yeah, but I think exactly. maybe, maybe but that might be helpful for NR to to give a little piece of info about right. that. Just, right. Just you know, to say like, hey, because this figure has weak ankles, that's not our problem. They should fix that, right? That they should figure something well, out because the end of the day with Thor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's true but, but, yeah. but they're Watch giving you day. a crotch grabber but they're giving you a crotch grabber they're they're saying here there's a simple solution where you just grab it and it's magnetic and you don't have to worry about it no more like mm. you know no more fuzz right because then that's why they use magnetic for their pegs like oh you don't have to worry about pegs you just it's magnetic so there's yeah, kind of the same right. situation where it's like hey we need to learn how to use this base then you need to come out and say that because clearly it seems like if it's user error, then 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 they need to. So. I don't know. Hot Toys doesn't tell you that. Basically, sometimes using those cross grabbers on certain figures can cause damage. Yeah. They don't tell you how those cross grab those the, the waist grabbers the waist oh, can yeah. damage <laughs> your yeah, figure. The like they don't basically yeah. tell you those things. You know what I mean? So I they mean, just yeah, leave it up to point. you to really decide what basically works and what not. So I think that we I think across the board at this point we have to kind of hold every company accountable for what they do and how they, you know, kind of deliver the information. So with Inart, again, they have a certain vantage point of how they're seeing this figure when they actually, you know, uh, send it out. They don't, you know, they probably didn't anticipate this or they probably, you know, pose it a certain way with the expectation that people would follow suit. But I guess it just depends. You know, Hot Toys does the same thing. They just leave it up to, you know, the customer's interpretation of how they want to do it. But I mean, again, I think if they see enough of this, if they see more complaints like this, and they probably have something prepared ready to to, to address it, um, we'll just have to actually see. But I just think that I, I would, you know, tell people to get as creative as they possibly can be if you do have some concerns. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. That's more than fair. I think you guys have all been very fair and reasonable with this one. So that's why uh, you guys are the Avengers level panel. So, but I, I think honestly, yeah, I, I think people are going to love this figure when they get it in hand. And I said that in my review as such, I think as a figure goes, it looks alive. It's beautiful, especially the, I don't have another sculpted version, but the rooted version is just incredible. I really, really love it. Again, though, the, you have to always be transparent and fair. Like there are a few issues like the magnets, you know, so, and getting the head on the body, which I didn't love. Maybe other people might have an easier time with, but maybe I just suck at it. But you know, that's just kind of what I would say, but nonetheless, guys, Thank you for your amazing thoughts on that one. 